Hey, welcome to the book of Exodus. We're in this extraordinary chapter, Exodus chapter 32. This is the golden calf. Uh, this uh, issue has been sorted out somewhat, and now we're kind of in the, the last portion of this. We're looking at just verse 30 today. Let's read it. On the next day, Moses said to the people, you yourselves have committed a great sin, and now I am going up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. Let's just, just take that slice there and think about that together. We've said it in previous mornings, these people were guilty of a great sin. It was essentially spiritual adultery at the foot of Mount Sinai. I mean, right where the Ten Commandments are being given, right where God is appearing and agreeing graciously to enter into a covenant with these people. They're down there partying and basically committing spiritual adultery violating commandments all over the place. The first commandment, the second commandment, the uh, the adultery commandment. And so, yeah, they have committed a great sin. Great sin is always associated with those kinds of uh, things as you find that phrase, great sin in the Bible, look it up. You'll see it's associated with, with that. So what we have here then is uh, Moses is cleaning up the mess the last few mornings. We've been looking at this. And now he talks to the people, he addresses them. Moses is going back up Mount Sinai, he's going up to God, and he says, maybe, maybe there's something that can be done to remedy this. And right here we come to this question, uh, which is raised right in the text, you know, perhaps I can make atonement for you. Well, okay, let's be careful with this, because uh, making atonement here, do you think that Moses means atonement like Jesus died on the cross, and Mo Moses is ready to die on the cross? Moses may be ready to die on the cross for his people. Well, watch, there's some interesting stuff coming up. But um, Moses isn't God. Moses does not have a perfect character. Moses is a human being. He's not deity. Moses, uh, on his best day, his righteousness would never remotely come close to the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Only Jesus can truly make atonement. Only Jesus has a character uh, sinless, unblemished. Only Jesus has deity. He's divine. He is love. He is God himself. Only Jesus uh, has a life that measures with the life of God. Jesus is God. Uh, only Jesus has a perfect sinlessness. Um, only Jesus could give that. Uh, only Jesus has lived in full accordance with the, the Ten Commandment law, the, the character of God. So only Jesus really can make atonement, ultimate atonement. What can Moses do? Moses can approach God. Moses can intercede. Moses can mediate. Uh, can Moses make atonement? Moses can plead for the people. And he's going to plead in the most extraordinary way but he's just Moses. So ultimately, only God can arrange the atonement. But Moses is going to do everything that can be done to fix the situation. And there, I believe, we really see into the picture that Moses has. I'm going to do whatever I can do. I'm going to give whatever I have to give. And let's see what can be done. And by the way, I want to add that, that uh, along with this, desire, Moses has demonstrated by this cleanup in the camp, the thousands of idolaters which have been um, ended, uh, Moses and, the, and some of the people have demonstrated their faithfulness to the Lord Jesus. They've demonstrated faithfulness to Yahweh. So uh, it's not like that this is all like words. Moses is going to come up and say pretty words to God and God's going to just, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> Of course, I guess you guys just didn't mean it. No, Moses is going to go, and he's coming with uh, he's coming with quite a resume. This is this is what happened, as you know. Our sin is a great sin. We're not mitigating it in any way, shape, or form. We are guilty, very extremely sorry. And these are the th things we've done remedially. You know, we have thousands of uh, dead idolaters. We're trying to find a place to bury right now. Uh, we want to return fully to you. What can we do? And, well, I'll save it for the next couple of verses, Moses. We're just breaking into this discussion now with Moses and God. So let's watch and see what happens. But let's not get any wrong ideas here. A mere human person cannot make atonement. Jesus is, is completely human, but Jesus is also completely God. He can make atonement. And so because uh, basically because of Jesus, we're not cooked. Jesus is the one that can save us from the sins that we have 
uh, arranged and uh, assigned to ourselves. We are guilty. We deserve to be ended. God is looking for a repentant heart that can receive his great mercies, his great anointing, so that we can live his way. And so through Jesus and only through Jesus is this doable. Let's see what happens as Moses intercedes with God for the people. Can atonement be made in some way? Let's watch and see. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you.